Next Wednesday marks the beginning of Lent, when Catholics bear the traditional cross of ashes on their forehead as a sign of penance. This year, Benedict XVI will receive ashes from Cardinal Joseph Tomko, who will recite, Remember that thou art dust, and to dust thou shalt return. For about 1,200 years now, tradition marks that popes usually leave the Vatican on Ash Wednesday to celebrate the date in one of Rome's basilicas. For decades now, the ceremony has taken place at the Basilica of San Anselmo in Rome's Aventino Hill. The Pope then leads a procession that ends at the Basilica of Santa Sabina. The uphill procession symbolizes the effort Catholics make to be holy. A few days later, the Pope will suspend all meetings for seven days in order to take a spiritual retreat. It will begin on Sunday the 26th and conclude on Saturday, March the 3rd. Preaching will be Cardinal Laurent Monseguo of the Congo. He's one of the most important figures of the church in Africa, and he's also one of the leading voices in defense of human rights. Then the Pope will visit a Roman parish. This year, he'll go to San Giovanni Battista. The schedule for this year's Lent ends with two big events, the visit of Anglican primate Rowan Williams on March 10th and the Pope's trip to Mexico and Cuba from March 23rd to the 29th. The Pope will return to Rome three days before Palm Sunday, giving him only 72 hours to recuperate before the ceremonies of Holy Week.